why is inflation trending downwards for five consecutive months? Uh, basically, there's been a bumper food crop in Uganda. So the prices have also plummeted, and thus uh, the drop in inflation rate to 14.3%, as, uh, um, as compared to the previous month at 18%. What is the long-term word, Lucas, on food prices? Will they keep going down because the food is the largest component of the inflation rate? Yes, uh, food, incidentally, is the largest uh, component of the CPI uh, computation. Then uh, the other factor you could possibly say influence the drop is uh, the, uh, the price of uh, fuel. Basically, when you see a drop in uh, both areas, because at the end of the day, uh, fuel prices tend to increase, uh, tend to have an effect on the overall uh, price price uh, price of commodities in the country. But having seen uh, a drop in the price of fuel and food, certainly inflation had to come down. We're expecting the Bank of Uganda on Thursday to give the latest um, uh, CBR. It has now sitting at 19%, but do you think there's now evidence for further monetary easing? Yes, uh, obviously we've seen a drop in the previous uh, couple of months. Definitely we'll see uh, a drop in the CBR rate uh, by Bank of Uganda because already that is reflected on the overnight and one-week funds on Interbank, trading uh, between 11% to uh, 17%. So given that CBR is at 19%, obviously we should see it come down to possibly 18 or 17.5%. Then uh, that definitely is uh, the objective of Central Bank. In uh, long-term it kind of uh, beef up uh, private uh, sector borrowing as interest rates are and let's to boost uh, Lucas, let's activity. finish with the currency, which is the currency the Ugandan shilling has been around 2,460 to 2,500 shillings for the past three months. Would, would, is this likely to lend any support to the Ugandan shilling? <laughs> well, basically, right now, what is our... Affecting, uh, uh, I should say, um, there is considerable uh, stability in the currency, given that uh, there is very low demand, which tends to come in uh, end of month, really. But uh, given that the yield on uh, government securities will uh, will drop, because the auction size has also been reduced to about 80 billion. So we might see some offshores uh, shrugging of uh, our market, and uh, that will definitely impact on the shilling. But uh, All right. certainly, Many... uh, central bank central bank is of the view that uh, if the shilling remained uh, stable, um, it should uh, it should um, increase uh, activity on the market. So. Oftentimes, you see central bank intervention when there's a sharp uh, depreciation or appreciation.